Mike's trying to get John uh, to buy one of those. Liv's real happy right now. All right, yeah, Liv, how, how happy are you right now, Liv? <laughs> <laughs> John's not allowed to get any cool toys. No, I, I, <laughs> like, I, look at look, look, look what's going on right now. How do you feel about this? I feel like I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> <laughs> what? <that? laughs> so you guys have seen the blazer. If you haven't seen Mike's videos with this thing, it's amazing. Only Mike can make this thing survive like the top gear Toyota, but uh, it's pretty pretty ridiculous. Uh, you know, he floats it down the river does all sorts of stuff. This thing has been through heck and back and it's uh, still working. Pretty impressive, but good line of cars here. Got a nice charger. Look at that. Wolfpack rides there. Let's see that. You got Turner's car. James's R32. Super clean. We're heading to Cops Cars and Coffee this morning. See you guys there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What are you doing down there? <laughs> what are you doing up there? I don't think I've ever parked this right next to this thing. It's ridiculous. It's pretty. It's actually pretty funny seeing how low you are. So the tire, the height of the tire, is higher than my fender. Like it's it's got to be two to three inches higher than the fender. Like. That's uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> These Grand Sports, I love because of the blue. It's just the right amount of blue in there because of the gray Alcantara, but. Not gonna be able to get to all the cars here, but it's pretty solid turnout, you guys can see here. Owned by the local police department. It's pretty cool because we all think it's a trap coming up here because, you know, some cars may or not be legal, like, you know, Mike's truck, uh, but it's cool because they just hang out. Everybody's cool, just kind of going through and, and checking some cars out. There's all sorts of stuff here: Jeeps, uh, M3s, uh, just all sorts of random stuff. I can't get to it all. I like the white walls. Very much. That's pretty cool. There you go, give it a follow on Instagram. I bet that thing's slow. <laughs> Good lord. You guys gotta check out Troy's video to see how I have to try to walk around so I can try to make decent content. You know, I, I will give you credit, you do a pretty good job for somebody who does, has a GoPro. Just a GoPro? Yeah, like you hit 900K, right? I'm well, thank there. you. So, I appreciate it. Mike hits, if, you, if you're living under a rock, right, you know this guy. There's what only one does, person I can know that can take a GoPro uh -huh. and just get to where you're at. Dude, I've pulled it off. And then the second piece of this, I tell people, <laughs> is like, there's only one person I know that can buy like a $1,500 Blazer. Uh -huh and just turn it into the most prof profitable investment right. in the world. And it's YouTube still trending page with the $1,500 blade. Out of, was, all the videos, of out of all the videos <laughs> you've ever done, the $1,500 Blazer that still runs. Still runs. Still runs. I just said at, at your house, it's like it's the top gear Toyota of, of It is. Of Harrisburg. I can't kill it. I'm of the top gear Toyota of Harrisburg. I tell people, I'm like, out of all the things, I said, I would try to buy, I'd buy a, a $3,500 Blazer. Uh -huh. I'd get no views. That's what somebody else said. They were like, what, the next one you buy will break immediately. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and you'll no, spend I've, more I've used it. up my entire lifetime of good luck on this Blazer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of sad. Okay. So at the end of the day, there's one person I know that can pull all this off. And it's this guy right here. So if you're living under a rock, people, which I'm sure you've heard of him. Heard of him, perhaps. Go check him out. <laughs> nice Z01, you got Nick's car. That is just... This is pretty cool. Little... <laughs> race car Cooper. Kind of all stripped out, got a cage in there. That's pretty ridiculous. Look, nothing, <laughs> nothing in the back there. You got Rick's AMG Coupe. The red sled. Nice M3. Look at the color on this thing. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a trap! 
See you, buddy. Bye bye. Later on, man. See ya. That's a clean car. This is pretty cool. Check this thing out. I like the color. <laughs> My man. That's real cool. I'm liking this like, it might not show up on camera. It might show up on camera. It's like a silver pink. You see like the shade of it. Yeah. And it could just be because of the color of the, like that red, that maroon kind of red just making it look that way, but it's, it works. I normally don't question what a lot of people are doing with car stuff. I'm usually like, hey, you know, it's your car, do whatever you want. <laughs> but Steve is just, I send it Steve, I can't, I can't, okay? Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Just your first, first thought. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> what in God's creation? I don't even know, like, I, I mean, I, I, get, I get it. Like, I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. Like, I never thought I would see anything like this. Like, this is the last thing that I was expecting to show up here. Of course, Steve has it on a trailer. This will be running in two weeks. Two, yeah, two we weeks. This will, two this will weeks. be running in two weeks, Victor. Absolutely not. He bet 500 bucks. Be 500 bucks, so this will be running in two weeks. No way. From from when? Today? It's from today. Two weeks from this today? This will be running in two weeks from today. We well, gotta put stipulations. Like, he could just half ass mount a motor. No, no, it needs to be get in and drive. He said away. he's gonna drive it to Mike's house and back from Mike's house. That's his way of saying it will be running in two weeks. That happened. Had to grab some food at good old Mission Barbecue. The lineup of cars. So we're gonna grab some lunch and then I'll see you guys back at the house. A little bit of a channel update, a little bit of a car update. So you OG subscribers might remember, um, I've mentioned and I've alluded to um, a couple hints of a Raptor. Well, not really hints, but um, basically getting a Raptor. Uh, the search still continues for a nice clean Gen 1 Raptor. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of those Raptors, I'm looking for the Gen 2 of the Gen 1 Raptor, and I say the Gen 2, the 2013, 2014 of the Gen 1, and a lot of those Raptors, they're either beat to crap and still kind of pricey, or they're really, really clean, really, really nice, and extremely pricey, uh, almost pushing to like a used Gen 2 Raptor. So uh, I've been kind of doing some, some Googling, some checking of a couple things, um, so I want to go upstairs and, and show you kind of maybe an example of what I'm looking at here um, and kind of the, basically what I'm trying to say is the, the search continues. So this is what I'm talking about guys. You can see here's a 2014 F-150 Raptor, right? This is the last model year before they went to the Gen 2s, obviously. You can see here's a pretty clean truck, uh, 46,988, so 47 grand, uh, 30,000 miles basically on them, but it looks to be a pretty clean truck. So what I've been doing here is I've been going through looking for these trucks, basically a 2013, 2014. Um, I'm looking for the black interior like this, which it has. Um, I don't like the blue on the dash. Uh, there's a lot of those additions, the white ones especially, that have like blue here and they have some blue in the seats. I definitely don't want those. So I've been going through basically finding trucks like this and um, basically finding ones that I want, right? You'll see here's a Gen 1, basically private party, 2014, 51, sorry, $52,000, 24,000 miles. Obviously this is a California truck, but uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty well maintained, pretty clean. I mean, that is a ton of money. This truck new was what, 52,000, 53,000? 
Um, and they haven't, like, people just want an astronomical amount of money for these things, which at the end of the day is fine, I get it. Um, but, you know, at this point, at this money, at this price point right here, why wouldn't you just jump up to maybe a used Gen 2, like a 2017 Gen 2? You know, they're running at between 55 and, and 62,000. Um, so basically what I've been doing is I've been going through it. I've been finding these trucks and I find ones that I like, like this one, for instance. Um, let's take a look at this one because I have not tried to look this one up yet but uh, i find one that i basically want and i go through and i make sure you know it's got all the options um and everything like that obviously you can see all this the standard options here but we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this vin and then i want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor car vertical um they knew that i was kind of looking through this and going through this process and they hooked me up with um, a vin check basically um similar to you guys have heard of carfax and stuff but um Car vertical is super, super simple to use. Um, it's really, really easy to understand. So what you do is you go ahead and you take that VIN that we copied. We're gonna paste that in here and we're just gonna click check car now. So we're basically gonna look through here. Um, multiple records found. We're gonna look through, basically check on everything, right? Valuation, see if this is maybe a good price. Um, see if there's any, obviously, issues that are known about with the VIN, um, all sorts of stuff. So it's the, basically the pre-check here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click full report, right? This is basically just an overview um, to look look over. Uh, this is what we're going to basically really kind of kind of worry through. We're going to look through the records of service history and stuff like that. So we're going to get full report. We're going to purchase one here. And here we go. Here, this will load our entire report for this vehicle. Uh, basically, what's going on with it. Uh, if there's anything that I should be aware of, any damage, accident, recalls, odometer rollbacks, anything like that. All right, so report is ready to go. Again, basically summary here. I mean, you guys don't really need the car details because you, you, most of you guys know what you're looking at. Uh, VIN number, accidents, model, there's any basically, you know, this, this is basically telling you, are there a lot of common problems with this model of vehicle, right? So the lower this score, obviously there's gonna be a lot more major faults. The higher the score, basically it's like, hey, you know, this, this is a pretty solid vehicle. Um, damage, obviously, the higher this is, the better the vehicle, right? It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory here. So this number right here is based upon here. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna look, all right, first issued through New Jersey, no issues with the odometer, anything like that. We'll click show more here. And basically you guys can see all a walkthrough of everything like that. Um, title checks, obviously it's gonna go through. Every time this vehicle changes hands, titles, banks, liens, things like that. Keep scrolling through here. Again, I'm basically going to go and check everything. It looks like we have a green light here on all this stuff. I'm going to go down to evaluation here. And Car Vertical is going to basically value this car, right? They're going to use all their sources, all their estimates and say, you know, is this a vehicle that is very difficult to sell? Is it very easy to sell? Is it, you know, I mean, a Ford Raptor, they're pretty specific truck, right? There's not a lot of people, most guys who want a truck, they go buy a regular F-150. People who buy Raptors are, are buying a Raptor because they, they want a Raptor, right? Um, then you have everything pay attention to, right? Any specific warranty recalls, anything like that, that I should be weary of, uh, it's gonna highlight that here. So it looks like there's no relevant issues. Um, and that report's good. Hopefully this guy's helps you. I'll have a link to everything in the description below, but I just wanted to show kind of the process with this and, and what I'm looking for and how I'm kind of going about through this. Obviously when I find a car or truck that I think works and checks out, uh, I'm gonna note this vehicle. I'm gonna save this link, right? And I'm gonna note that, hey, this is a potential truck that I, I wanna look at. You know, it's from Texas, uh, which, you know, there's not obviously a lot of snow, salt, things like that down there. So again, I'm going through all these things a lot of it's just common sense for me and and what i'm looking for but um using tools and stuff like car vertical really can help you make sure you're getting a solid uh vehicle and you're not potentially buying anything that could have some issues um, along the lines big shout out to car vertical for sponsoring today's video as you guys saw there's a ton of checks a ton of things that car vertical goes through to really sort through all the reports and the best thing about these reports it's actually connected to real life data so it's not just a historical report right anytime something changes it's always updating those reports and goes through uh, on a real-time basis so um, again it's really important that you guys utilize tools proper tools if you're spending a lot of money on something uh, especially a vehicle that you really go through the process and make sure it's what you want some people just have the option to go buy what they want and they'll deal with it later me uh, i go 
goes through everything with a fine tooth comb, obviously, uh, but the type of personality I am, I just have to. So um, using tools like that, really, really good to do the mileage checks, accident damage, quality check. Are you getting something even at a good deal, right? Price base, right? Are you buying something that is way overpriced or is it underpriced? And if it is underpriced, is it underpriced for a reason? So again, big shout out to Car Vertical for sponsoring today's video. I have all the links in the description below. Make sure you guys go check them out. Thank you guys for sticking with me here till the end of this video. We're gonna jump back to a clip that I filmed last night and I'm gonna show that to you guys now. A little bit of a detailing tip and what this video title is finally about. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys click the red subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy this clip and we'll see you on the next one. Now I know it's been a while since I've done a detailing video or, or I shouldn't say maybe a dedicated detailing video but you know I've brought some detailing tips in here. If you guys can pay attention here in the background, this is obviously not the Infiniti. McLaren's still right here. This is a friend of mine's car and I'm doing a little maintenance work on it. He had it coated with me with OptiCoat I think about two years ago, two, three years ago. Um, it's a Lexus IS300 F Sport. Uh, really nice car and uh, that, that polymer coating kind of has worn off. Um, that's there's just not a lot of longevity in those and he's like hey Troy I want something that's a daily driver uh, and I want something that's not really a coating where I have to maintain it a lot and really put a lot of work into it put a lot of effort into it um, but I do want some coating I want some nice hydrophobic properties what can I do there's some things before a coating level um, that are higher than sealants that I really like to use um, I call them kind of like my coating secret um, they're perfect for these scenarios this product's really great you can get about 12 months out of it maybe a little more if it's not your daily driver but it's called Gion Can can coat. It's a really uh, great product. I love this thing. Um, it's super, super easy to use. It's literally exactly what it's called. It's can coat. It's in a can here. Uh, you use a couple microfibers, but it's super easy to use. So I have his car pretty much all cleaned up and prep. You would treat it the same way that you would getting ready to ceramic coat a car. So I pretty much did a chemical decontamination on it. So sprayed some iron fog remover all over it, washed the car, um, clay barred some heavier areas down on the rockers to really get some of this stuff off. And then I went through with Gion Prep um, and really cleaned the surface off. I have a link to all this stuff in the description below, so check it out there. I'm not gonna make this super technical video, but again, I highly recommend using a couple towels. Um, I like these towels from the Rag Company because they're super plush on one side, but on the inside here, you can see the GSM's a little smaller. Uh, so this is great for applying. Uh, it doesn't really smear the coating around. White cars are a little tough just because it's it's hard to see, but you basically spray one spray onto here, uh, onto your towel and kind of just do a nice even coat. Um, instead of the little applicator brick that you normally use with the coating, you use the towel, um, you usually follow through. I usually just use a second towel in general, follow through, buff the excess off. Um, and that's it, it's super slick, super awesome. So I just wanna take a couple minutes here and really give you guys a nice little coating secret right here. Definitely give this a try. I'll have everything below again. Um, I think this is something that maybe a lot of you guys are, are looking for. Um, not a ton of maintenance on it and it's super easy to do. I mean, you can do this whole car in an hour with it. It's really that easy. Definitely give it a shot.